then later you realize you know friend zone is weird. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Shiko's Planet. Welcome back again to another series, guys. So we have with us. The one and only Larry and Suma. If you missed out on the previous episode where we talked about mistakes the men have made in their first relationships, please be sure to check it out. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. So today we are still going to have a men's version talk on mistakes men make when they like a lady. So Again, I just reached out to several guys in my contact list who are my good friends and they shared with me pointers and so we have them to represent them all as we interact with all the pointers that they gave me. So let's go straight into it. Number one, I have always taken huge risks so someone going over investing so much about this lady whom they like so. What do you have to say about this? Uh, relationships are quite complex, mm -hmm. but uh, many people have contrasting views concerning uh, how much you invest into a relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, it being money, mm -hmm. or your time, mm -hmm. or even gift giving. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you go over the top investing on someone you like, but uh, it is a risk because you might come to find out that uh, probably she doesn't feel the same for you yeah. and you'll have you spend a lot of money and, and time and probably she was only looking to uh, get the packs, you know? Yeah. Uh, the package, you know, the <laughs> things are in the package. And I think for now, I think here we are talking about liking a lady but you've not yet I'm Jafika for yeah, a relationship, yeah. you know, or maybe you think you are in a relationship with a girl, but you are in the friend zone. <laughs> so yeah, I, I like that, you know, trying to understand that when should, I think we should also talk about when do you know, like for you guys, when do you know when now you, you, you can take the liking to the next level? Like, how do you gauge it? You know, like you're saying, if it's one-sided, how do you know this person? What are some of the things that maybe this girl might be giving us hints for you to feel like, hey, this is not to me? Like those indicators before you even tell yourself, let me pursue this person and ask them out, like, oh, I'm not judging. So that at least we can be able to know from that mistake of, if you don't know this, then you will fall into the trap of investing your time, money, and every other thing. Yet it's for you know it's not leading to a relationship. Uh, one of them is talking to yourself. So. Do you take a It's a key indicator. Yeah. When you are texting someone and uh, the conversation is one way. Mm. It's just you and your thoughts. Inside <laughs> someone else's. Inside someone else's. Uh, <laughs> Probably she's not that into you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's one of the many ways, mm -hmm. but you'll always have a feel because the energy you give yeah. normally is returned, and if it's not returned, then you know your place. Yeah. So uh, it's important to to know your place mm -hmm. before investing a lot of time and money. And yeah. Time. Wow. Nice. Yeah. What do you think about that? Um. Just picking off from what Suma said, you know, I'm thinking, uh, now what happens, like, okay, this scenario, she's giving you the same energy, mm -hmm. no, the, a different energy, mm -hmm. so what happens when she's giving you the same kind of energy, because there's, there's those, like, ladies who, you approach them, they're super friendly, and that super friendliness, you might confuse it, like, oh, she likes me, you know, yeah. but you're not sure, I think... <laughs> Now, for me, I would say just like in that state, uh, you'd it, it's so that you're clear about it. Mm -hmm. You make known your feel, yeah. like your feelings to her, like so that it, 
it is it is clear you know you're not you're not there just oh yeah it's going well it's going well i love you you know you don't know i'm your plan i thought you were best friend what are you doing yeah oh that's a very nice point so he's trying to say that even if yes you feel like the feeling is mutual again if you invest too much time in the liking phase before you go to the mm. next phase you might as well be investing too much of your time and whatever you know the, the liking package involves and then you know you'll just have yourself to blame later which is a mistake okay it's a nice one that's interesting we also have again now it progresses to this one not letting her know about your intentions so you like her then you know <laughs> then to an electro but not to get text piano long text messages and then so i think this one brings to overthinking and sometimes the, the lady might actually like to proceed to the next level but so where but look at it so can you maybe elaborate this mistake further what causes guys to stay in that liking phase sana and not I think you know it's the I would say it's the fear sometimes mm-hmm. uh, that well you've gotten to know like this girl mm-hmm. uh, your friends yeah. and then now that that single move it's one of the biggest moves you can make so it it is going to decide the fate of that relationship mm-hmm. one way or another yeah. you know so uh, you you if you say I like you she's like I don't like not the same way you know there's going to be like a fall fall out yeah. the two of you because you can't be I like you and you're just like yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely there, there there needs to be that time because for for falling out uh, but you need to give yourself time to like now give the relationship time yeah. to 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 take your separate parts but then you check you'll pick up from later on to like develop the friendship mm-hmm. yeah so we i would say like just don't it's it sh- it should be it is wise rather to like make on your feelings mm-hmm. as soon, soon enough, as yeah, possible yeah. not the, the very same day me patana but <laughs> as soon as possible we don't need to with your play i forget <laughs> <laughs> okay aha uh-huh. we also have liking someone blinds you Oh, which is this maybe this this movie that had the bad box <laughs> so uh, this liking can bad box you in terms of you might be able to actually see that this person is not right for you or it doesn't like you back but a big mistake is that you allow that liking to blind you and so you commit to other things that you know so how do you think this mistake happens often in what circumstances is it that maybe my text sana so now you're just like hey we she's into me she's into me or where do you get to the point where you're now blinded you can't see that hey this thing is not two way <laughs> you know how you say that yes someone can be an extrovert mm-hmm. so they are showing you the same vibe anyone who would like you would show you so now you're like then later you realize you know friends only Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you just got zoned into that. So, what do you think like how does one find themselves in such a mistake? Uh, it's true that uh, love is not blind. Love blinds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, when you're in love, uh, you make rational decisions mm. and you need support from friends who can work outside outside you who can see how you are proceeding yeah. in situations so the thing is when when you're in that space uh, some people make very uh bad decisions yeah. and sometimes you are vulnerable and uh, this girl might probably even take advantage of that yeah. vulnerability of yours mm-hmm. and she might choose you uh, and spend a lot of money mm-hmm. uh, it's not only money that people men spend yeah. you know it could be your time yeah. you'll be spending a lot of time uh, trying to pursue her and 
probably she has already shown you all the signs that this will not work out. Mm. But you end up investing a lot of your time in yeah. that and it wastes your time and you are also susceptible to hurt and pain. Yeah. So yeah, uh, it does blind you mm. and you need, you need help. <laughs> you need help. So not lock people out. Mm. In, that, in that situation. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. So, like, just understanding that you're not in that journey, even if it's just you and that person, yeah. you need. And I think at times, I like what you're saying about being vulnerable. That yes, this someone you like, but you might, you know, the next point is showing her your weaknesses before before you find out that she feels the same about you. So again, now you're all deep into the vulnerability, such that now she can use that, like you're saying, to manipulate. Uh, you know, to get what she wants, or to, you know, and then it just ends up being a lot of waste of time, a lot of hurt, because when you're vulnerable to the wrong person, you know, it's not safe. Yeah. Okay, have now the other point, going over the top investing. You know, so there was that investing of taking the huge risk of saying, okay, me, I'm pursuing this to end something. And then there's this one where you're not even consulting yourself, you're just saying now I want to splash all my money, I want to splash all my time to this person and making them the center of your life. So tell us more about this. Uh, there's this, this thing called vacation. <laughs> hmm. Vacation uh, is someone who is not yet your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, you just met. <laughs> met that you only need Mubasa, so... <laughs> We are here for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are spoiling someone with your parents' money. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, it's difficult. Because yeah. at, the, at the time you are in love, or that's what you think, mm -hmm. it's last. Yeah. But uh, you spend a lot of time and money and in a relationship that probably won't work. Yeah. So, needs a lot of wisdom and as I said earlier support from your friends yeah. so that the decisions you're making are motivated by how the relationship or where the relationship is heading towards because mm -hmm. you're actually you're not even in a relationship yeah yeah you're 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 pursuing yeah so when you're pursuing uh, I think that's the most uh, vulnerable time for a man mm -hmm. you need to you need to make uh, wise decisions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, that's that's nice. And also, there's also that part of you know making yourself too available, getting so much on her space. Mm -hmm. Maybe Radu, can you expand more on this? Like, you know, at that times now, you just literally need to get a life as a guy who's supposedly liking someone. Like, we get it, you're liking this girl, but <laughs> yeah. what happened to your likes and you know your passion? Uh, on the on the over availability, mm -hmm. it's because you kind of want to be this person's life, mm -hmm. but you're not recognizing that this person has a life too, yeah. uh, and so you want to be available. Or if okay, she's going swimming with her friends, you want to go swimming with her <laughs> friends too. You know everything. You want to be there, yeah. and you're not dating. You know. Uh, like there's that distinction between pursuing mm -hmm. and pursuing uh, you can it needs to be it, it's a vulnerable state as you've just said mm -hmm. but you need to be aware of those triggers that you are vulnerable to mm -hmm. so I would say like in that space yeah. it's up to you to like figure them out uh, be open share mm -hmm. with a friend or someone yeah. uh, that I like this person. Mm. Uh, I would want to do this. Do you think it's okay so that you're not going overboard mm. and you're not doing bare minimum? Yeah. You're just doing enough, you know? Yeah. For that time. For that time. Yeah, and I think this, or even as we conclude, I guess this also we can have a repeat of uh, a mistake where getting to move in with each other just in the liking phase. So many people have fallen into that trap that I mean, just because I like this girl and she's giving me those vibes, I can just suggest to her we, you know, start cohabiting. So I think 
this cuts across everything. Like a mistake that is made in the sense of feeling like it will push to there being that relationship and then it ends up being jokes on you by it, you know. So yeah, ignoring obvious signs that you would normally call red flags. So you like this person such that even when your friends, and I like how you guys are emphasizing one, it's not an alone journey, even before pursuing this person, even as you're pursuing this person, you need other people who at least can be your eyes, besides you being, because you might be so blinded, like you said, in the feeling. So, yeah, this is also another mistake, where you just, you're too into it until you're ignoring that this girl, you know, even your friends will sort of ask you, okay, well, you, you know, and you just say, yeah, you know, so what, what would you talk about such a point? Uh, uh, I'd say, uh, like, in such a, in such a space, like, just because of, just picking up from the last one, you know, like, just because of that vulnerability, like, you sort of, like, you block your eyes, mm. uh, you want to see what you want to see, mm. not what exactly is yes. happening. Yeah. You know, uh, so you will always be blindsided mm. because of you want this person, um, or rather, it's 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 sort of like a default brain yeah. how it works. Yeah. So because of because of that, you end up in a situation whereby you're not reaching out, you're not telling people mm. that I like this person. What do you think about their habits? Yeah. You know, and when they tell you like this girl is this and this, you know, you're like, hey, da, yeah. I'ma move on. You yeah. know, so you're not seeking this. You're not presenting this chick as you're pursuing her mm. to other people. You know, your oh, friends, yeah. introducing them to your friends, mm. not all your friends, but just a few. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to in your life fully. Before, you know, yeah. yeah, someone you you look up to a mentor so that they can tell you I sat down with your girl for like mm. an hour or two and this is my assessment of that mm. ABCD and me. so they can always tell you the point is that you are ignoring mm. because in as much as you are ignoring those pointers mm. when someone else mentions it it now becomes like oh I'm um, yeah it's yeah. probably true you know yeah. three or four people can't say the same thing about this person and it's not true. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the issue with the red flag is uh, sometimes you're blind to it, as they have made, mm -hmm. might have mentioned. Yeah. And the thing about blindness is uh, you have a false perception that you shall be the instrument of change. So, uh, hey, this girl, Monday, she is. She's wild, mm. but when I jump the end, I'm taking it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking it. Hey, I'm taking it. So uh, you believe that you should be the <laughs> you believe that you shall be the instrument of change, yeah. and uh, that's a mistake. Cause we don't change people. People change uh, by themselves. Yeah. They of of their own accord. Mm -hmm. So like people change. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like them as they are and expect them to be the same even in the relationship. Yeah. Wow, that's a good one. Uh -huh. This last point is trying to make sense of situations that you are better off not being part of. That is trying to fix things that are better off broken or making excuses for it. So I think this relates with uh, maybe when you get feedback from your friends, the people that you've shared with, or even with yourself, and you're like, I'm better off without this girl. Let me stop pursuing it. But the mistake now is you're trying to end on a force. You know, like you're lazy, but ah ah, me and them take it as a You know, like you're just there. So, what do you think makes someone to be in such a space to make such a mistake? Love. You see force, like you. You see force. Yeah. 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 You. You will meet very many characters out there mm -hmm. and uh, you are not always compatible yeah. so I think accepting is the most difficult part mm -hmm. accepting that this person that you think is your world yeah. is not compatible with you mm -hmm. 
or she does not feel the same. Uh, for for people, they find it to be so difficult. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Some some of these things are painful, but you will have to live through them for the betterment of your, of yourself. Yeah. So yeah, as soon as you can, you, you just cut it off. If it's not working. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess that we get to the end of this, unless you guys have anything to add on those points. I know. Yeah, yeah, it was great going through such. It's interesting to just understand that we still make mistakes even before, pass like even before getting to the relationship itself. And these are some of the things that even make people fear getting into a relationship. Like, eh, hey, umse ya na tsumbe ya chabado tuja anza kugate, you know, or oh, I'm going through. So so many things and investing so much before I'm even in a relationship and yet maybe you're just doing it all wrong. So thank you guys for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. See you on the next Sit Down with Chico's Planner.